Hey. Oh, good night, Max. All right, hey. everybody. That's a really wonderful day today. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Um, it's amazing, actually, that um, all the emo- energy emotions, Lukey, um, every single emotion has a internal structure. Have you heard about this, mate? Um, you, not so much. You, yeah. Uh, it's amazing because, of course, the uh, as the affection is the uh, energy of emotion, um, it's about connection and connectedness and our interconnectedness, of course, and our interdependence as well. Um, and, um, you know, uh, but um, if somebody's just sort of only at the heart level, for instance, uh, they could be blown all over the place a bit, you know. I think that um, everybody has to be functioning with all their uh, chakras open, you know. Um, and, um, yeah, you, you can ask yourself how relaxed your shoulders are and um, and how open that your body is and things like that, really. But um, the structure of uh, the emotion of, uh, for instance, uh, frustration um, is uh, a person could feel not competent um, and or, for instance, uh, the structure of uh, let's say uh, sadness certainly is loss, um, you know, and grief really is the integration of uh, loss. Um, and these are emotions. Let's see, and every single emotion has a structure uh, within it. And um, uh, for instance, even um, anger and all of these emotions and everything uh, have an inner structure. And um, as any emotion sort of is happening, um, you know, a person, uh, c- uh, for instance, if they could have been other than in their uh, necessary meditative uh, state, uh, they could be uh, uh, sometimes certainly be fully meditated to be total, totally alive uh, by um, honouring and um, being allowing of their beingness in themselves. You know, that's all. And not having any judgment uh, of anything. Um, but the structure of anger, for instance, is where some inner principle um, is uh, broken. And, um, and so it's sort of a principleness or something. And then it's a little bit like a, like a red light. Um, yeah. um, and when somebody could have had an uh, emotion like that in the past or could have been the future sort of thing, um, it's a, a need to have a focus more uh, on um, what... Uh, a person who is caring for as the outcome rather than what they don't want. And that's the eye awareness or whole brain functioning principle really focus more on what you care about um, as the outcome you know, um, rather than being caught up in any image um, of wrongness and that, which is sort of like mm, the bottom of the cocky cave stuff and uh, more gobbledness. Uh, it would have uh, uh, left them kept inside. Uh, what we really uh, care for um, and then um, what really is uh, uh, necessary, you know, uh, that could be uh, cleared up and that sort of thing. But um, using uh, steps uh, that we've been talking about as uh, people could be uh, tuning into the shows we're doing, uh, it's possible really to apply uh, just by even imitating uh, a pattern um, uh, that you're feeling is excellent in yourself. Uh, and that you're taking these things on, you know. Yeah. Um, but um, a refocusing uh, attention during uh, times where a person has the ability, uh, can have had any emotion, um, you can always ask yourself, uh, what feeling do you have about the feeling you've been having? Um, and, um, and then you've popped, you've dissociated from the feeling you were having because you had to have a... Uh, uh, another feeling about it by you know this question having been asked um, and um, yeah um, um, yeah so uh, it, it satisfies uh, more um, you know uh, things that sort of more satisfying uh, everybody that's involved you know but, but you've got to really think about things more in terms of um, satisfying everybody involved you know because it's, that's really what is sort of mutually beneficial more uh, but certainly um, people have to be focused uh, Fully to be here now, or timelessly, um, you know, present. Uh, but uh, emotions, uh, where people are all of a sudden perhaps not necessarily in their meditative state, um, and all 
these uh, energy and motion uh, valuable um, as uh, a language, uh, but that's the uh-huh. thing to do like a, a warning light, you know, on the on on the dashboard, you know, that um, something needs to be attended to a little bit more. Uh, but uh, it's possible really for people to be able to remember that um, there's an inner standing and uh, there needs to be uh, more invitation, um, you know, um, and that's uh, very important. Um, as invitation is, you see. But, um, uh, and otherwise, it's sort of really uh, more of an acted on them, uh, but, and that can be not really uh, mutually beneficial at all. Uh, you really want um, these countries, for instance, around the world to have their own voice and to develop their voice from it within themselves, um, and um, otherwise it's sort of a little bit of a bone drain and um, you know, a wage slavery and the drunk monkey stung by a scorpion, you know, and um, trees meowing and cats going leaves and stuff. But um, wrongness and rightness and attention sort of all of on that, um, I think that um, people can have other than allowed a remainness of uh, attendance that means, you know, to uh, what um, more in and needs are um, at the moment, you know. And then certainly wherever sufferedness is, um, we should really be ever caring uh, that this is the... Um, object of our uh, desire that we can be uh, aware of ourselves and uh, um, we can be coming from ourselves yeah um, but um, um, so if um, a person is so principled then um, things can always have uh, been a lot of red lights but if somebody wasn't uh, principled at all well that wouldn't be right either you know what I mean um, and that um, uh, part of uh, going through life really Half of yourself is the uh, empty, and the other half is uh, just a full caring, in the, and that's a, a total self, really. Um, and that's not uh, perfect. Uh, that's really what we're talking about: is you being more in your uh, totality. Yeah. Um, but if you've ever asked a person sort of uh, what was the reason why sort of they were angry, um, most likely it's possible that the person who um, can have said uh, something that was said uh, that was wrong. Or uh, said to them, uh, but that um, it's uh, your executive guidance really is uh, alive evermore as you are aware that um, interest and uh, uh, pleasure really allows you to have more whole brain patterning um, and that you can remain ever more uh, meditative internally um, and um, then you're managing things in the outside world more. But um, somebody would just say, oh, that person's unprofessional. Um, and that person is just a, a ruined sort of presentation. My God, that person was just so disrespectful and all that sort of thing. But um, such statements really sort of, that I'm saying really um, anything. Yeah. Um, they're, they're saying really um, uh, nothing really about what actually is uh, happening or even what happened, um, you know. Um, but um, I reckon that um, everybody listening is ever more uh, detectable in their being as, um, as you are um, and I am. Um, but uh, just really uh, wanting to uh, know the fact, you know, and not sort of really compare uh, something in terms of something else. Uh, but we should really uh, do what we can to notice these unique qualities um, of the information um, and the um, statements that are being made, you know, where um, our executive guidance really um, is uh, present. And um, we, um, you know, um, otherwise there's sort of all sorts of just uh, uh, handouts that are just all coffee stains in your being, you know, yeah. Um, but um, statements sort of uh, where a person could have been angry, such as, Hey, you insulted me. Oh, you're a control freak. A control freak. Or something like that, you know. Um, um, uh, that's sort of like a manipulation um, and um, that really does sort of imply uh, a wrongness um, you know um, and that doesn't really, uh, isn't really describing uh, necessarily what happened uh, but that, um, it's sort of clear that um, somebody sort of kind of uh, other than uh, uh, having an aim of uh, making uh, things really clear you know and having uh, transparency yeah um, and um, because it uh, other than allows your whole brain patterning to be. And we should be doing what we can to make more whole brain patterning uh, because in, in this uh, way, uh, people have their wholeness. So as people are playing, um, uh, that's very, very 
very important because I'm going to have to move to the where uh, people are uh, playing and, and then they're playing for self. Yeah. Um, and, um, but um, we need uh, ways to be able to, uh, when um, people are not making the pain necessary, where somebody is to do what they can to uh, go to something else, which anything will do, where you're having some resourcefulness. And as you're in this state, you know, um, the things are becoming ever more clear again, you know. But um, anger sort of really uh, could have been singled uh, more or less that um, some sort of distractedness was uh, by uh, something uh, was was a prejudice that was just simply needing to be reframed, you know. Um, and um, that was a real uh, distracted sort of a judgment, and other than a, and it was really like a missed opportunity to learn how to respond um, ever more uh, effectively, you know. But um, a person could really certainly um, have used uh, anger to polarise uh, to something which really is antisocial um, for the moment that uh, a learning could be, um, you know, uh, that that, that behaviour, for instance, really is sort of unacceptable. It's unacceptable, for instance, that you live in a world where uh, the Buddha principle is that you've got a military industrial complex, you know, um, that uh, spends just several several hundred bill, um, where you've only got um, 20 bill, for instance, spent on basic education, you know, for the whole world, um, and uh, maybe you've got 30 bill spent on ice cream uh, uh, last year, you know, in France alone, for instance, this sort of thing, you know. Um, but um, when um, the car's water temperature sort of gauge or sort of uh, fuel light or whatever, you know, um, could have come on, uh, it, it, it really is uh, just simply like a message um, that um, something really needs to be uh, paid attention to, you know. Um, and we should really keep our mind uh, on uh, the uh, things that are going on within ourselves to be empty of ourselves, to be of resistance. And um, everyone where I come from as a Bass Strait Islander in uh, Australia, in um, Tasmania, um, you know, you learn, to pl- you learn to sail a boat and you have to really, as you go out to, into the ocean, um, you really have to have the ability to sail your boat with both hands uh, free uh, because you absolutely, if you're on the ocean, <clears throat> you must be equipped uh, to be able to assist and you can only assist if you have both hands free, um, you know, as you're sailing your own boat, um, and that you've got to be really on a vessel which is shored up itself, um, you know, because two people on a vessel uh, are in distress, uh, you know, talking to each other, um, you know, they might not necessarily uh, be able to help, um, you know. Um, you... Um, have to be on a boat or something which really is a vessel which is shored up otherwise you've really got to uh, be on this shored upness um, but um, we can um, we can really uh, uh, never make uh, uh, another uh, feel one thing necessarily or another I think that would be very cute if somebody could think that because uh, that would be very powerless um, yeah. um, uh, instruction really has got to come from within you and you've got to be uh, developing your own voice. Um, and this sort of is a really beautiful message, yeah, of uh, taking personal responsibility, <clears throat> you know, uh, for the genesis of peace, you know, more. Um, but, you know, um, we're talking to people and um, people are saying, oh, I'm going to do yoga. Um, oh, yes, um, I'm going for a run in the hills, um, you know, and, um, and then I'm going to be happy, you know. And these things, the yoga and going for a stroll um, and things are going to make you happy. Um, and I think it's very important that people have the ability to balance the game, uh, but that um, we also really have to be able to eventually uh, get more into this uh, meditative uh, state of being. And that's about actually uh, uh, we're being aware that we're actually more interconnected um, as uh, one more whole, um, you know, as a whole, and this is the totality more. Um, and, um, of course, you know, uh, there's plenty, plenty uh, of uh, genius, and there certainly is no shortage of it, you know what I mean? Um, but um, there really is a, a certain shortage, and everybody will tell you, of uh, being a bit persistent, you know, and having pers- uh, persistence, and actually having perseverance, you know what I mean? I mean, I reckon uh, actually these are the sort of things that you look out there. 
uh, the thing is possibly a bit short, radically. Um, and um, if you've got a good idea, I mean, um, you just uh, need of really being uh, persistent and having uh, perseverance with this more. Um, but um, parent and child alienation, um, uh, these are things which are really going on. Uh, people could have heard of uh, parental alienation where a child um, is less than um, had the ability to express his or her affection, you know, uh, toward a parent, their father or their mother, um, and that's called uh, parental alienation. And um, those are people who really grow up uh, to be adults and uh, studies do show that that is a really uh, grave sort of injuriousness um, that can occur to the per person's life, you know. Um, and um, that could have occurred even before the memory was uh, formed or uh, people can have just not um, talked about anything, you know what I mean? And they could have kept you really, uh, yeah, as a mushroom, yeah, really a mushroom strategy uh, kept, kept uh, really in the uh, place of where you can't really see anything and um, fed on bull dust sort of thing. Uh, but um, uh, there's also child alienation and uh, uh, people are often actively uh, with uh, these uh, foster uh, uh, children and things actively doing what they can to um, less than uh, allow the child's full expression of uh, his or her affection uh, to his uh, or her parents. Um, and in the um, situation, for instance, with Dakota, um, who has been um, kidnapped and he was transported across uh, state lines illegally, you know, um, and um, he's been cloistered um, in New York excuse me, from uh, New York in uh, Nebraska. Um, and um, I just sort of really got a message more or less that um, even Dakota opens caring for uh, to uh, connect with his mother, you know what I mean? Um, and um, that's uh, then um, if uh, a person isn't um, uh, uh, really doing what they can to be at one in themselves, um, there's sort of all of those actions sort of kind of also created uh, child alienation. And, um, and uh, you know, so people can be really actively uh, having done things which was interfering and really, really interfering in other people's lives, you know. Um, like, I really care very much, for instance, for my son to be uh, and able to be with his father fully, who, um, you know, has his primary care, you know, um, and um, is his uh, primary uh, responsibility, not second, third, fourth or fifth, you know. Um, but, um, you know, um, you, uh, I think that you really have to do what you can to sort of be uh, formless, you know. But um, anything that's really reduced um, is not really essential at all uh, because if you could dissect that, um, then it, there really is no transcendence because once you dissect an animal or you dissect something, certainly it doesn't have any life. Uh, there's certainly nothing that can really be transcended at all. Uh, but the meaning really is not really in this yet. It's really somewhere else more, you know what I mean? Uh, but um, you're uh, not sort of uh, doing the swimming, uh, but swum um, in um, eye, uh, eye awareness. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, you're not doing the uh, flying in, uh, but you're actually being flown, sort of. And that's uh, what's really happening more. Uh, but um, I don't recommend that um, people would uh, be sacrificed uh, or even uh, we, anyone would go on in the conversation that uh, uh, people like as we're talking about uh, Bradley Manning, um, um, his body, or uh, uh, Dakota, or uh, um, uh, Julian Assange, or uh, Dominic um, uh, Johansson in Sweden, that, that young boy that was... Uh, Taken from his parents because his parents were just parents were caring to um, homeschool him, um, which I recommend people and as parents do everything they can to be more with their uh, children and caring with the children. Uh, but um, I don't think that people should be sacrificed uh, or for any sacrifice, uh, sacrifice uh, of any sentient beings. Uh, just uh, I think people should live simply um, that others can simply live and authentically. Um, I really is uh, not a vengefulness at all, um, you know, as uh, some uh, people could have thought some god sort of was uh, vengeful or something, but not really as a grudge or anything such as any curse against a person. Uh, but that's certainly uh, we could be talking about behaviour and you're not uh, 
uh, telling anybody how to feel about anything. You know what I mean? You're just bringing these things up so that there's some discussion about this, and you're creating some discussion. And um, and, and 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 this is very important because our children really grow up to be uh, the most well-adjusted as people, as uh, mum and dad and uh, your family members and things are able to be uh, communicating with each other. You know, and uh, uh, that, that that's the most important thing as it can be. Um, yeah. And the people work toward this, uh, or play toward this, actually, but not non-inclusiveness, um, it, it, like in the Julian Assange uh, situation, or non-inclusiveness, or conclusiveness either. Um, there is no sort of a conclusiveness. It's sort of a bit of a mess, you know. They say, "What do you write? You don't know. Um, what, or what's that person got? Well, you don't know. They don't know." Um, it's sort of just like a lot of knowledge that's got in the way of uh, of uh, truth, and um, and that's worse than ignorance. Certainly, we've been talking about this, uh, but um, non-inclusiveness is equivalent to hanging in limbo and just sort of uh, twisting in the wind, sort of thing. Um, you know, uh, Plato sort of has created a travesty, really, of the stock, you know, of speech, really, at the UN. Um, uh, when people are talking about, oh yeah, you know, uh, you know, uh, the worst thing is apparent. Uh, God help us, the worst thing is a phantom. Uh, you know, that's the worst thing. A phantom cannot take the place of a living being, and you can't be joined to a phantom. An organisation is like a phantom. It could be considered like a person or something, but it's not. You know, or it is. As if you're a person and you've been just reduced to an organisation um, and you're more than an organisation, you can't be joined as a living being to a corporation or an organisation. And the only way to do that is to, for you to have been reduced as a beast. Um, look up in the Black Law Dictionary. Um, um, but that, um, you've been um, reduced to a beast, apparently, you know, but that you're unable to be... Uh, you have, uh, you can't, uh, uh, you're not the author of the riddle or something, or that you have to re, you have to be represented, you know, by an uh, a turn on you, or an a turn on you, I think. Uh, something like that. I think it's called. But um, uh, being totally alive, uh, you can either be totally alive or totally dead, uh, but you know, uh, life, uh, totality, in the totalness opens up more to you uh, and I. Um, and this is more integrating of love um, is one part that's going on there in the uh, in the count because one part of the count really is medicine and loving you see because money is really not a, money really is equivalent to what this person's doing as far as love is concerned you know and as it's a damned <clears throat> that's what love is in that situation and that is sort of like creates a cognitive dissonance. And then somebody could have been really just going around with a lot of cognitive symptoms. And then the other part of it is all the terror and things that can have been created as a result of that incompetence. Um, but a cultivated face, going around with a cultivated face like you see these people, you know, um, uh, they're walking around with cultivated faces. And um, I think the face of a serious inner misery it's a radical series in a misery, you know what I mean? There is really no life, no expression, no playfulness, and it's just you look at the person's face and it's just like pan, you know, it's like flat land. You know? um, but um, it, it, certainly nobody really wants to be a paid prop, you know what I mean, uh, that just eats um, and that would be just an object of desire uh, um, itself um, or uh, certainly you don't want to be just subject matter uh, talked about uh, if you, you know, he's a male, uh, but that if you, you know, uh, a female then it's the object of desire. Um, but then um, if you're just the subject talked about, then simply nothing is going to be returned to that, certainly not. Uh, but um, the econ economic egalitarianism really is equivalent to eye awareness, and, um, and this is an inter interdependence and interconnectedness. Um, of the earth and the people, and an integrated system made, you know. Um, but if you don't have that, um, then what have you got? If you are not working to this, uh, where you are asking everyone to participate to become aware of how money is uh, growing, I 
mean, that's really simple. Um, why don't uh, people know how the money supply is grown? Why is that not a subject matter right now which should be being talked about in the United Nations? You know, immediately, and and, and then make this work apparent and translucent immediately. And if you do not, then, you know, you're showing your colour, aren't you? I mean, you know, you're just showing where you are. You know, you're a car, sort of. You've gone into a car, la di da um, But um, and I went really is uh, equivalent to being in the defendant, um, and you don't want to be the count. Uh, I think the count is really just... Uh, you don't want to be just a slot, you know, that money would go into as a count at all. Um, and um, why would you want to reduce your life just to that? But certainly if uh, nobody uh, as a living being should ever be reduced to will be less than any property somewhere being defended, so I think that's very, very uh, stupid and um, uh, immoral behaviour, um, you know. Uh, but um, I wear this is certainly not you having your independent or your your dependent or your dependent. Uh, you don't want to be a dense, you know, or uh, independent. Uh, you know, um, yeah. And I think you you have to be inter uh, more. Uh, you know, yeah. I, mean, I think that sort of really is more of um, a um, connectedness with everything. If that makes this makes sense, does it? This makes sense, Lee. Um, you there, mate? Uh, yeah. Sorry, Doc. I oh, had yeah. the uh, mic off because I'm in a public place. It makes perfect sense. Oh yeah, good. Oh yeah, right. Good on you. Um, okay. Look. I mean, this is not outside, all right? People going around looking outside and going, looking over there, looking here, looking there. Um, you know what? Uh, everywhere they're going, I'm seeing they're looking over there. Is that a spot? Is that a spot? Is this a spot? They can't really find their spot, you know. Uh, they're really like uh, moonstruck out. Uh, but that's not equivalent really to eye awareness. But inside, this is, inside looking more is eye, and this is where happiness is um, of its own self. Um, but Science really could have been, uh, which it is really a seeking sort of outside much more, and this is equal to not I, really, but sort of more of a misery, you know, of awareness. Uh, it, it really is sort of like equivalent to the count, you know, <clears throat> and um, you um, you have to quant, <clears throat> you know, and you have to be a quant <clears throat> rather than qualitative. Uh, you've fallen into just being a quant. <clears throat> and a quant and a count... Uh, quants and counts uh, just live by uh, uh, words and things they have in their head, um, you know. And then um, the, the count uh, has done everything to can to create an atheist sort of state, and the count has done everything can to create an, a non-atheist state, you know, um, and, a, 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 and a black hat and a, and a white hat sort of thing, and all this sort of stuff, and um, uh, just trading off and. Um, you know, uh, it's the bottom of the cock, it's cage sort of stuff, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, um, and it's really just a pretendedness. I mean, it's just really pretending, you know what I mean? I mean, seriously, why don't you stop pretending and, and actually be a bit more authentic, you know what I mean? And take charge. Or why are you walking around actually not thinking that you haven't taken charge? It's like, well, yeah, oh, wow, well, well, all right, good. Uh, what a great observation, but why am I, if you've seen a bit of a chaos where you are, you know what I mean? Why don't you take charge, actually? And who's in the bus inside you? Do you know what I mean? I mean, uh, could there have been someone up there, you know, driving the bus for you? I mean, no, excuse me. You know, get more back in the bus yourself, you whacker. You know what I mean? Um, uh, uh, but um, otherwise, it's just spanking the bishop, and that's not a good thing, you know. Um, but it's just a pretended sort of a knowing, um, and that's wrong, you know. Um, all corporal punishment certainly is wrong. Um, but if you begin with inquiry, um, and then you can really sort of know, you can be aware more, um, you can really then have discovery. Uh, but if you really don't have discovery because you shut things out, then uh, that's just equivalent to being completely ignorant and um, have. Anybody uh, shut discovery out in uh, the case 
we're, where we're talking about public cases and things where um, Julian Assange, um, that case um, is, and um, where that his situation is as a being. Um, um, is there any uh, discovery that's not known? Would you say that in this situation there's a lot of sort of ignorance really going on? Some sort of knowing that's apparently somewhere, but it's a fiction, and it's been joined to a fiction as a living being, which that you can't join life with life. That's a maximum of law. But only he could have been joined by having been reduced to be considered just some sort of corporate sort of organisation, which he's not. Um, and certainly he needs to be made whole again immediately. And these people need to be made whole because are uh, being retaliated against, really. Um, but um, you just can't be just not uh, not just bloody curious, you know what I mean? Oh, you're really curious. Ah, how good, how nice. You know what I mean? um, it's just sort of like a, a cold and wet, actually, when somebody's just curious, you know what I mean? You've got to be more curious. Uh, you've got to be really, really beyond... Uh, I mean, you've got to certainly be lukewarm, don't you? You've got to be at least lukewarm. And then you've really got to be even maybe warmed up even more, even you know what I mean. But um, as a child, um, what we do really to have uh, or not be happy. But what does a child uh, have to be uh, not happy about? That's a good question. Of course, what does a child really have to be not happy about? Um, a children really shouldn't have to be not happy about anything. Um, and as a child, um, uh, you, uh, you, you shouldn't be really any thinking at all. But in all the way through your life, you know, are there really is nothing going on in the parietal uh, uh, part of your brain, which is sort of above your ear, just behind the back of your head a little bit there? Um, and that's the parietal region, and uh, a lot of association is going on otherwise. And um, that's a brain that has so much chatter in it. I mean, that's the reason why people are walking around with like men struck cows. They're not even able to be able to navigate their vessel on the ocean to assist anybody because both hands are actually applied to where they're going even, or one hand. And how can you be useful to anybody? You know, you can't. It's impossible. But we all have to be able to be useful, you know. But um, a child to an adult uh, to behave um, has to be worth prudence and um, put in terms of the best interests of the children um, and parents to pay and daddy stay and stay farther away. Um, it just really is not good. But no son or daughter really is close, of course, in time of the death of a parent, generally. But um, eye awareness really is equivalent to the child uh, being equal to uh, no learnedness of how to behave. You know, I think that all the learnedness how to behave, um, a lot of that stuff, is um, a put on the person and actually really does uh, destroy because it's a lot of uh, interferedness, you know. Um, and I think that's what you've got a lot of um, in these uh, cases and stuff uh, in the media and things at the moment, you know, uh, that we've been a bit talking about. But no one can give you knowledge uh, that cannot be transferred, uh, but, uh, this, uh, certainly not imparted, um, you know. Uh, this has got to be something that comes from inside you. But if you've just got stale, dirty, stinking, borrowed money uh, and uh, no uh, constitutional money, but just a script uh, paper note um, and that um, a $10, ten dollar note is uh, uh, one-tenth of a, of a dollar in its value, really, and a $100 note is one-hundredth of a value of a dollar. But, you know, um, and it's passed through thousands um, you're uh, becoming just ever more interested and in, 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 interesting uh, in uh, what, what's being said here uh, once, you know, and um, for all time. But as you're sort of being in your spontaneous, creative joy, this is equivalent to a not interferedness um, with, you know, things. And then all the discipline and the responsible old man. Woohoo! You've got to be responsible. Um, I really is not uh, for that at all. Um, it's a tremendous really acceptance more of whatever really is 
uh, more in acceptance of flowering and blossoming and things flowering and blossoming. Um, and this is more you being in the edu- education. I mean, this is equivalent to life, uh, you know, um, uh, being more eye aware and otherwise it's sort of like a, a education, just running around with an intellectual spoutedness, but no real livingness at all about this certainly not living in the gap between the beats. Um, but, um, but so um, education is driven to life uh, through a didactic sort of headiness and cold, hard, steel, grey seats in a convention room with everybody facing in one direction, sitting down still. Um, but, um, as you relax now, you know, uh, you can be relaxing your shoulders and tummy and um, breath and things. But um, uh, all of that other stuff uh, that we were just talking about is sort of like a partial strategy, really, uh, toward or uh, just a confusedness, really, and and and, and, and mis- uh, misunderstanding. Really. Uh, but I uh, don't wait. Um, uh, why wait uh, for happiness uh, to be being caused? That's ridiculous. You can't be going and waiting around, um, you know, uh, waiting around uh, for happiness to be caused. Happiness is not something that's been caused. Only like your breath, really. Uh, this uh-huh. is your, your free being. Um, and um, this is uh, happiness. And that's not a subject. Um, uh, you, yet you, <clears throat> as this uh, object of uh, your meditated being, um, masses, um, if you, but if you don't have uh, the count uh, far away uh, to control you. Um, you're not uh, mature enough. Uh, that's what the count says, apparently. Um, you have to uh, uh, lean on the uh, count, you know. Um, and the count's saying, oh, please, lean on me. Uh, place a lean on, on the count. You know, uh, you have to place a lean on the count. Um, if you don't have uh, the count far, 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 far away, uh, to control the crap out of you. I mean, you know, are you, you're you not uh, mature enough, really, uh, to, to have uh, a, a lean, you know, uh, to, if it, uh, and that's the message, you know, to lean on the count. Uh, and, uh, even in that situation, probably the count goes, oh, thank you so much, just lean on the count, you know. Um, but, no, uh, again, you know, no one really uh, can give you uh, knowledge, and it certainly is not transferred, not imparted, and that's ridiculous. Stop thinking in terms of your dirty, stinking, stale, borrowed uh, money script note and start with brand new, fresh um, uh, constitutional money and um, put that into circulation and retire the other stuff, you know, and do it in a way that just is like a captain looking over and seeing a small boat and how it has to be, you know, unloaded so it stays in the water afloat. Very easy to do, you know, but that's not a matter. Look, um, I think that um, you, you know uh, it's better to be more sort of in your eye awareness state. You know what I mean? Uh, but <clears throat> a religious person, uh, they can't say that you're uh, superior or bar superior. That's not a religious person, really. Um, and the society really can't either. I think certainly not a phantom. Uh, a phantom couldn't say that. A nameless voice. Uh, you can't join a living spirit with a, a fiction, fictional entity. And in these situations, these young boys have been joined in a fictional entity, uh, which we could talk a little bit about. Um, but that, how did that occur? Or how could it occur? I mean, uh, it's quite ridiculous. It's this smoke screen of mirror um, and um, a delusion, but not being equal uh, to join like with like, um, which is the maximum of law. Um, you can only join somebody to, with somebody that can be sued um, because Julian Assange can be sued. So um, uh, how about that? But um, a joy really has been of no uh, comparison at all. Um, uh, you, you really need to be a superior, inferior. You need to be strong. You need to be weak. You need to have super food, um, you know, and all this sort of stuff. Uh, all, that's all about inferiority, weakness, and... In, you know, and that sort of thing, and that's like the equivalent of a volcano, uh, ready to sort of erupt and just blow to not and um, boils and pumps, you know, uh, as a tsunami of a, a deep suffering, you know, where the footpath just sort of rolls up in front of you, you know, into a, a serious irritableness, you know, um, yeah, 
uh, the present day graphic and this the from inferiority superiority complex. Um, and then you've got people running around trying to console you, you know. They're going, Oh didn't, you know, patting you on the bat, oh sweetie, you know, oh didn't so I see things not so good. Um, and consolation really like is equivalent to death or endedness really. Um, I don't think people should be really consoling but that's not equivalent to rationalization necessarily. Or, or, uh, but um, the consoling could really be just like a bit of a computerizedness, um, but um, uh, recognizing the end of uh, death uh, and pa having paced that. Uh, worry uh, to buffer, buffer, buffer shock, uh, but what a uh, weak. It uh, doesn't really uh, reach you, um, but that it, uh, that, is reach, uh, that it is reaching you, uh, which what we're talking about here, uh, that you can really uh, be able to interface rather than not being able to interface at all. Uh, but that um, uh, this is you really being able to be healed up in yourself, you know what I mean? Um, and, um, and then misery not is uh, being protected by a crazy and silly concept. <laughs> you know, how ridiculous is that? Um, it's like kittens and puppies uh, taken too soon. It's just like, you know, kittens and puppies taken too soon. Uh, that's what's going on in Sweden. And that's what, why they call it Stockholm Syndrome. And that's why the Swedes are the sickest nation, you know, on the earth, psychologically. Um, and um, they need the most help, just like um, the Lakota Indians really care very much about uh, receiving assistance because... They have such heart conditions and diabetes. I mean, in Sweden, um, everybody is uh, lonely, and they report the lo they're the loneliest people on the earth, of a nation um, of people. Um, it's like kittens and puppies. If you take them too soon, uh, you're just going to remain with your, your little bit of rooting and, you know, uh, rooting sort of behaviour as an adult. Um, you know, and, and, and that's what's sort of going on, you know. But um, I think that that's sort of really been happening, you know, uh, because uh, that's what maybe the Count sort of would really uh, care for, you know. The Count tells Bradley, apparently, not to fear. Don't, don't worry, uh, son, you know. Um, just uh, let me smash this brick over your head, you know. Uh, you're going to go out into the battlefield. Um, and um, don't worry. Uh, a future fate, you know, the future fate, you know what I mean? Um, you're being trained for, uh, you're getting paid for that, do you know what I mean? Um, um, and I've seen uh, that stupidity uh, over and over again, like in Gallipoli, um, you know, if you really know uh, what those drongos did to Australian soldiers and other people, you know, um, in Gallipoli, you know, uh, they were dingbats, mate, you know, serious thing of dingbats, and that's the sort of thing that's going on. You, know I mean? you can't really, if you don't have constitutional money, um, you don't really have love. So the Count tells Brad, you know, Bradley, oh, don't fear, mate, you know, the battlefield future, you know what I mean? You signed up for it, you know. Um, Bradley was a predestined to be uh, sold as a stock just traded, and that's just travesty of the stock, you know what I mean, and um, uh, reuted and routed, reuted uh, de-Zion, uh, you know, um, as a derivative, you know, you're just going to, you know, just, uh, humans are just uh, shat tells um, and treated as shat tells. Um, the eugenics is really politically correct, you see. Um, it's like an ostrich with its, its head in the sand, you know. Isn't it amazing, those people? Uh, how could they actually walk around knowing what a mess everything is and not really necessarily really saying anything about it at all? But why don't you just, uh, uh, you know, uh, me um, uh, straighten it up? You know, I can help you, you can help me, we can help each other. You know, I think that's the most important thing. I mean, I think this is more politically correct. Um, you know what I mean? Um, otherwise, it's sort of like just an off-piece uh, speech. Um, ostrich in its hair, a head in the sand sort of speech and a bought bullet uh, like a hollow point stupidly um, and all of that I don't know it's a gravy train uh, like a hollow point stupidly um, and all of that I don't know it's a gravy train uh, like a hollow point stupidly um, and all of that I don't know it's a gravy train uh, like a hollow